But you gotta record. Is it press? Did you press record? Yes, you are very handsome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are very handsome. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see here. Okay, the art of Lee Jun Lei, also known as Lei Li Jun. What's that about? What does AKA mean? By the way, my name is Lewis. Oh, uh, it's Lewis. known as. For those of you who might not know who I am, Lewis. Lewis. I've been here for like a month. Okay, why does she go by two different names? What's the deal? One is Chinese name, another is right. English name. So in China, she's Lei Li Jun, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Family name first. But she decided to do it the Western style and put her family name last. <clears throat> there she is. Wow. Okay, painter and poet, born in Guangxi in the historic Guilin, and born in 1966 at the start of the Cultural Revolution. Is everyone in here familiar with that? Cultural Revolution? China? I don't know what you call it. What do you call it in China? <laughs> yes. Now, as, she, as many people were saying, at this time, China, many people in China were struggling to survive. Yes. A lot of poverty, right? Uh, Li Jun's parents worked parents for a state owned bus company. Stay on bus company. <clears throat> so they were both working class mechanics. Her mother placed a lot of importance on education. And even though her family was poor, her mother still budgeted for magazines, newspapers, and books for her and her siblings to read. Okay? This is the background information for Lady June. <clears throat> now, um, I don't want to just look at her paintings, I also want to kind of uh, think about it in uh, terms of like art concepts, right? And tools for understanding her artwork. Anyone familiar with the term formative experience? Formative experience. Formative experience. Can you think about what that means? The root word is form. 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 Ah. The shape. Strange. Form is shape. Formative experience. Things that happen to you. Right? Things that happen to you when you're a young person, before the age of 18, shape who you are as a person. Would you agree? So is it just about the body shape or the character? Not the body shape. <laughs> Has nothing to do with whether you are fat or skinny, uh, tall or short. We're talking about character. Oh, uh, I, right. I see. I see. Okay, so all those things that happened to her when she was younger, right? Painter. Cultural revolution, Wei Lin, struggling to survive. This created who she is. Yeah. Yeah. Would you agree? Yes. What are some formative experiences for children? Parents are huge, right? Yeah. Huge influences on their children. 
What else? Game. Play game. Games? Yeah, games. What do you mean? They have fun by playing game with the children. And this affects their character? Yes. Okay. So how do the circumstances of our lives influence who we are? Influence who we are. I'm just going to let that question hang out there for you to think about. Okay. Artist's personal statement. Does anyone want to give it a shot and try to read this? This is her personal statement. Her goals as an artist. How about you try? Okay. The whole, the whole Can you read this? Is it, is it too small? <laughs> yeah, make a space, make a bigger. Bigger? Uh oh. How about you try? Come closer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't know. I, I try. It will take me five minutes to make it bigger. Okay, I try. Okay. In 2014, feeling poetry is insufficient to express her intense nostalgia. 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 Would you like me to read it? Yeah. Okay. I used to. In 2014, Feeling poetry Audrey. insufficient Insufficient. to express her intense nostalgia, nostalgia. and sensual emotions. Lee Jun Lei picked up a brush and began to paint. To paint. With a background in Chinese literature, literature, but without any formal training in painting, she jumped into the art world for pleasure and relaxation, using as her guide the works of Modigliani. Matisse, Matisse and the Expressionists of the 1930s and 40s. Strong moods emit from her paintings of lovely and charming ladies, opening your imagination and aiding your daydreams. As Lee Jun says, through my characters and fantasies, let's, let's escape from our dull realities and live in a dreamy world. Okay, so this is her statement as an artist. And this is her logo. Her signature and an image representing her. All right, tools for interpretation, tools for understanding, symbol. An image that carries an extra meaning, okay? So when you look at her artwork, I want you to look for the symbols. For example, these are symbols. When you look at this, it's a fist, right? Yes. But what does it mean? It's not just a fist. Five. Power. Power. Strength. Whatever it might be. Some people say unity, right? Because the five fingers together. Here is a bird. It's a dove, a white dove, but it means more than just a white dove, right? Peace. 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 It's known for peace, right? And of course, the skull and crossbones definitely has extra meaning. Poison. Danger. Death. Poison. Death. Right? Death. Okay, so as you look at her artwork, I want you to look for the symbols. Symbols. For example, there you go. Coming now, this is her first one called Coming Home. Coming Home. Can you see symbols there that add to the meaning of the painting? Clothes. The clothes. What about the clothes? Uh, it's a special clothes in that time. From what time? Uh, cultural revolution. Right. Revolution. Cultural revolution. Now, looking at this, looking at this, these are Red Guard clothes, right? Yeah. Clothes from the Red Guard. So obviously, Red Guard. she's trying to make a statement mm -hmm. about something. Yes. Her, who, what is, I'm not sure what you can interpret that. You can find your own meaning. What do you think she means? 
by putting this beautiful girl in the clothes of a red guard and then saying, coming home. Can anyone think of uh, some extra meaning? I said how so many men go to army. Um, uh, I mean, um, uh. Okay, Captain, we'll let you go. <laughs>